Hey, how's it going today? Listen, I wanted to talk to you today about serving one another because when we serve each other, we're really serving Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Matthew 25, 35 through 40, the following. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and come unto you? And Jesus will answer them, Truly I say unto you, as you did it unto the one of the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. So what Jesus is telling me is as we do things for each other that's in the kingdom of God and even outside the kingdom of God, that it's like we're doing it for him because he realizes when people are in need that we are his hands, we're his feet, we're his voice uh, to the people here on earth. That's what we are. And so when we help others, we're helping him build the kingdom of God. As we live through this time of COVID-19, you might say, well, there's nothing we can do right now, but there's thousands of things the church can be doing. We can be doing uh, food pantries. We can be doing uh, going out and helping people who need help that can't get it anywhere else. Or we can do videos like we're doing here to encourage people in their daily walk with Jesus. Lots of things that we can be doing. And so my question is to you, while you're sitting at home during COVID-19, what is it you're doing? Is someone hungry and you're feeding them? Someone needs clothing and you're clothing them? Someone is hurting and they need to hear a prayer from you. I know we can't go to the hospitals right now, but that they didn't do away with the telephones. We can still call and we can still pray and we can still check on one another because when we do it under the least of them, his brethren, we're doing it for him. I hope that encourages you today. There's lots we can be doing for God and you have a good day. We'll see you next time.